Hi everyone, today in this first tutorial I'm going to introduce you to the Optocom Suite, a four-part software dedicated to the analysis of your Optocom 3D data. So the first toolbox available in the suite is called the Optocom Viewer. With this toolbox you can visualize and explore the high resolution data of your Optocom 3D scanner. You also have Optocom Ruler that performs automated GDNT analysis and dimensional inspection. You have Optocom Detector that focuses on automated defect detection and visual inspection. And finally, Optocom Scaler performs automatic calculation of the volume of complex geometries such as combustion chambers. From this uh, Optocom Suite portal, you can actually select your preferred language, so here Japanese or English, so let's keep going with English. Uh, and you can choose the toolbox you want to use first. In this first tutorial, we are going to focus on the Optocom Viewer in order to visualize and measure features of a valve body. So here is the viewer's window, very slick design, and we are going to first click on the file opening icon in order to select the Optocom data of our choice. And here it is. So here is the data. You can readily explore the data and look at your valve body from all angles. You can play a little bit with data and remove parts that are of no interest to you. So here I do it, for example, uh, for the Z uh, axis uh, range, starting from minus uh, 20 millimeters. You can play with the upper and lower value of the color scale to hide parts of the data or emphasize a particular data range. You can also use various uh, color schemes. More importantly, you can choose what data is displayed. So by default, the color scheme reflects the height of each point of the valve body, but the color scale can also show the intensity of the optocom light reflected on the valve body surface. In this case, the optocom viewer shows both a superposition of the high data and the intensity data, which can be very useful in order, for example, to confirm the presence of surface defects that have neither height nor uh, depth. So if you click on the right tab, you have additional settings to adjust your 3D visualization experience. You can rotate your part around the three main axis. You can shrink or expand the scale along X, Y, and Z. This can be useful to quickly uh, visualize small features and defects on your part, su such as this, uh, this scratch on the, the top surface of the valve body. Finally, you can add or remove information on your, on your visualization panel, sh such as uh, X, Y, Z axis. Uh, also, you can add a background. You can add or remove the color scale. One more thing you can do in this panel is change the type of visualization, choosing either a perspective camera or an orthographic uh, camera. Now that we've gone over the main parameters to change the visualization experience, we can actually further process the data and measure features of this body valve. So the first important thing to know here is that you can use a denoise function to process your Optocom uh, 3D data. If you uncheck this box here, we disable the denoise function and you can see that a few data points are, are off. This is noise that sometimes occurs when the optocom light reflection intensity is low or due to locally poor reflectivity of the material or because of a sharp angle between the reflecting surface and the optocom laser beam axis. So you can use the denoise function to get rid of such points. And of course, you have access to a range of parameters to tweak your denoise function as you please. In the present case, actually, the default parameters work really fine, so we'll go with that. So with the Optocom Viewer, you can now dive deep into the Optocom 3D data, especially with the show coordinate function, you can access the XYZ position of each data point on your uh, valve body. 
An even more interesting way to look at your data is by using the profiler function, which gives you a cross section of the 3D data wherever you need across your uh, part. Using the profiler window, you can get further information about the features of your valve body by measuring point to point distances. So let me expand the profiler window and here I'm going to measure a distance from this point at the edge of a bore to this second point at the, the edge of a counter bore. And the profiler, as you see, extracts the distance uh, with a micro scale resolution of the optocom sensor, so both the height or the depth of the feature but also the length uh, along the cross section. All right. So the next function I would like to show you in this tutorial is a shape function that is actually a geometry fitting function. With shape, you can fit the 3D data of the valve body with primitives such as lines, planes, circles, cylinders, cones and spheres. Here we are going to fit the top surface of a valve body with a plane, which can give us information about the orientation of this top surface and will highlight the presence of surface defects. So we use a fit with selection method of the plane fitting function and then what we need to do is to select points on the top surface that we want to fit. A few points here, a few points there. And so the more points you add, the more accurate will be your fitting. And once you are finished, you can click the fit with selection button here. And here you go. So the selected Optocom 3D data on the top surface has been fitted to a plane. The Z range is here plus minus 15 micrometers, which really highlights the defects uh, of the top surface as well uh, as its uh, waviness. Well, but if you want to see a variation from the plane fit at a larger Z scale, you just have to change the upper and lower limits, and then you can have a different uh, visualization uh, experience. So I think we've gone over quite a few functions of the Optocom Viewer Toolbox uh, in this tutorial. Actually, you have additional functions here on the top of the window, for example, to save the data as a uh, CSV or STL file, or to copy the 3D view uh, to the clipboard. What you can also do is taking your data and jump directly to the next toolbox of the Optocom Suite. So the ruler, the detector, or the scaler toolbox. And so in the next tutorial, what we are going to do is some automated GDNT analysis of this valve body using the same Optocom 3D data. In the meantime, I thank you for watching the video and I encourage you to learn more about QTR's 3D metrology and Creative 4.0 solutions at Optocom.com.